Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Luke Summerford with Big Kids Toys. We've got an awesome video for you today. We're talking about a brand new product for Big Kids Toys, Hi-Fi Rose. The first product we have is the RS-201E. It's a small, compact form factor, eight inch touchscreen, also comes with a remote. It's got a line input for just regular RCAs. It's got a preamp output. It's got an integrated amp inside of it that the user can turn off if they just want to use it as a streamer or preamp. Um, it's got an optical in and an optical out, so you can connect it to uh, a separate DAC if you wish. HDMI, USB-C, USB. This little guy right here can do a lot for the money. For an entry-level audio file, someone that's just trying to get into the world of, of digital music and streaming, this is perfect for you especially if this is maybe a secondary system or if it's for an, for an office system where you want something that sounds great looks great and can drive a pair of uh, efficient speakers a few weeks ago when we were getting ready for expona mike and i were coming up with a list of manufacturers that we wanted to visit products we wanted to see number one on that list was the rs150 and i gotta tell you it did not disappoint we spent a lot of time in the Hi-Fi Rose room, learning about the product, listening to the product, most importantly. And ultimately we decided we had to have this in our showroom. This is the RS-150. As you can see, it's a lot bigger than the 201. It's got a 17 inch 4K touchscreen. It's got balanced outputs. So when you're connecting to uh, you know, your high end preamp, it sounds really good, really smooth, really quiet. It's got a linear power supply, an ESS Sabre Pro DAC, just like the 201. It's got HDMI out so you can see what's going on on your TV. It's got a few different inputs like AES EBU, coax. It's got the Bluetooth remote. The other cool thing about it is on the bottom, there's inserts for SD cards if you have music stored on your computer. Most importantly, this product sounds great. It's a reference level streaming DAC that you can hook up to any system and hear a difference in your music. Both these units uh, can connect via Wi-Fi or ethernet. Uh, and one of my favorite features about Hi-Fi Rose is their Rose Hi-Fi app. We've seen a lot of manufacturers come out with a new product and not have their app down that, you know, and that's the way the customer is accessing the units. Hi-Fi Rose did such a good job at putting a lot of time and effort into ease of use, the look of the user interface, and it really, really shows whenever you open up the app, it's easy to switch between multiple Hi-Fi Rose products if you have a, a you know a, an office system and one in your, in your reference level um, audio system. You're able to access Tidal, Quobuzz, anything, the FM radio, all through their app, really easy. There's search functions. There's an entire remote control on the app. Another cool thing is you can look at the back of the unit just as it's laid out. You can turn on and off inputs. You can turn on and off the integrated amplifier that's in the 201, all from the app. This is really, really important when it comes to digital streamers because a lot of people have problems accessing their music. It's just when, whenever you download a new app, it gets a little complicated. Hi-Fi Rose makes it easy. Hi-Fi Rose made each of these products for a different listener. The RS-201 is for someone like an entry-level audiophile or someone that has a secondary system and they want a high quality, you know, small but, but really robust streaming DAC, small integrated amplifier um, that's gonna sound really good. The RS-150 is three levels if not more up from this piece, is meant for a discerning listener, someone that wants to hear all the intricacies of a violin concerto, while also hearing huge bass impact from songs like Hotel California by the Eagles or Death Row by Chris Stapleton. We have the RS-150 connected to the Audio Research i50, a pair of Totem Tribe Towers, uh, over in the corner, a Rel T7X supporting that low end bass, I mean, I could talk about this stuff all day, but you really got to come hear it for yourself. Listen to the detail, listen to the bass. I think you would really love it. Just want to remind everybody, like and subscribe to this YouTube page. Check out our Facebook, check out our Instagram. Uh, we have a monthly newsletter that goes out, a lot of cool information. Um, and thanks for tuning in.